Hi guys, this is Hakim. Welcome to Kim's Tech. In this video, we will be creating a Freerock 7 app using the command line interface. So in our previous video, we actually created a um, Freerock 7 app using the traditional method like um, downloading the project file from the website, extracting it, then working with the project file. But in this video, I am going to make use of the Freerock 7 CLI tools. So to get started, we have to install the um, Framework 7 CLI on our machine. To install the Framework 7 CLI, you need um, npm installed on your machine. If you don't have npm, visit nodejs.org and install nodejs. Once you install nodejs, you are going to um, get npm on your machine. So once you are through with that, you can now install the Framework 7 CLI. So actually, I created a folder called Framework 7 and I have um, two folders right here. So the first folder is the test one, while the second folder is the test two. So the Framework 7 CLI has um, two versions of creating the Framework 7 app. The first version is using the command to create the app, while the second version is using the user interface. So once you use the second version, it's going to launch a page where you'll be able to um, configure the project. Actually, we have to install the, um, the Framework 7 um, CLI first. So to install the CLI, I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to paste it on our um, terminal right here. It's going to install Framework 7 CLI on our machine. Now it's installing the Framework 7 CLI. This dash G actually means the Framework 7 CLI is going to be available anywhere in our machine. So actually we can install this from our 7 CLI in and from another folder and will be able to still use it in any folder. Now it has installed the framework 7 CLI on our machine. So actually I'm going to um cd into the text directory, text one directory. So this is the um first folder we are going to use. To use the command version, all you have to do is we'll say framework 7 Framework 7 create is going to bring up some options. So um, these are some of the options. It's asking for which kind of app we want to create, either the simple web app, progressive web app, or Cordova app. In this project, we are going to go with the simple web app and it's going to ask for the name. So I give it um test one. And it's going to ask for the um, type of frameworks we want to use. We are going to use Framework 7 Core. We can use Framework 7 with Vue.js or Framework 7 with React. And it's going to ask us for the kind of template. We are going to select single view. It's going to ask us for a bundler. We are going to select the Webpack bundler so that it's going to um, bundle our app. And it's going to ask us for the um, preprocessor. We are going to go with the CSS. You can use less stylus or SAS. And also it's asking for a a color theme. We are just going to give it to the default. And an icon. So it's asking for icon font. Yes, we want to include icons. So right now it's going to generate the app for us. Okay, right now it has generated the app for us. So to launch the app. All we have to do will say npm start so it's going to start the app on port 8080 so right now it has launched the app on port 8080 so since we selected webpack we can build the app by either building for development or production so right now to build the app for production all we have to do um let me open under terminal so we are going to see it into test one and right now to build the app, all we have to do is we'll say I'm um, npm run build dash prod. This means we are building for production, so we can actually build for development. So once we hit enter, it's going to generate um, a static file for us right here. So right now it has generated the files for us, which we can upload to our server. That is how to create the framework 7 app using the command so the next we are going to do we are going to create the app using the user interface so actually i'm going to close all this right now i'm going to close this i'm going to open the test too 
so and i'm going to open a terminal also and i'll see it into test two so right now to create the app using the user interface all you have to do will say framework seven create dash dash ui actually let's close this it's going to open this page right here with some option we have to choose so um it's asking us for the name of the app we'll give it test two um we are going to keep it as the default that is for the ferox 7 core and we are going to select the first the single view um template and also we'll select webpack you can use it to that bundler if you are using it that bundler yeah you have to just copy the files that is the as um ww files and upload it to the server you are going to make use of css we are going to leave the team like that and that's all i will hit create we forgot to select type of the app which is we want um web app a simple web app you can build for pwa or cordova app so in this case we are going to make use of um, the simple web app so we click on create and right now it's going to generate our app for us now it has generated the app so next we are going to do we are going to run the app so to do that we'll say npm start is going to run the app on port 8080 same way it did for the command version so right now it has launched the app on port 8081 so to build the app the same way for the command version all you have to do is say npm run build dash dev for development and if you want to build for production we'll say npm run build dash prod for production that'll be all for now if you find this video helpful please like and share and also if not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and turn on the notification so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video